good morning everybody uh, today is the final day of our presentation this is the fifth and the last day of uh, second season of the presentations semester 2 students of batch 2021 23 are making presentations here and today uh, uh, they are going to make presentations on the background or the setting of the 20th century uh, literature okay? and uh, in this uh, morning session we have presentations by let me share a screen to see the list of the students yes so we have uh, amina uh, reading on scientific fiction and fantasy literature uh, druvita on dystopian literature of 20th century divya parmar on rupert brooke as war poet amisha and comparison uh, between war poetry and bollywood patriotic songs uh, hinaba on dadaism movement janvi on war poetry uh, khushboo on absurdism versus existentialism nehalba on the soldier a poem by rupert brooke nilay on a brief history of surrealism and finally sangeeta will make presentation on uh, wilfred uh, Uh, Wilfred's poem, The Fear. Okay. Uh, you all have submitted your presentations in Google Classroom also, and therein, wherein you will be evaluated uh, through a, a rubric, also. Okay, so let us uh, start. So Amina, you can now start with uh, the the presentation. Okay. My today's topic is science fiction and fantasy literature. Uh, this is my personal information, and the points which I'm going to cover is science uh, uh, information of science fiction, information of uh, fantasy literature, uh, characteristics of fantasy literature. and difference between science fiction and fantasy literature so i am starting from uh, science fiction literature science fiction is a form of fiction that deal with principal impact of actual or imagined science upon a society science fiction uh, there are novels as well as movie uh, there is a novel a brave new world which is totally based on the technology of uh, and even there are novels written in science fiction literature the term science fiction was given by uh, hugo uh, jean becks and uh, after this uh, after uh, this uh, invented the, uh, the awards were given and about the world scientific uh, fiction the achievements awards are given to the writers editors and films uh, science fiction is a type of imaginative literature uh, it is a futuristic fiction and uh, in this uh, there is a use of technology heroic fantasy and uh, magic with technology uh, there are few novels uh, by uh, frank uh, mary shelley frankenstein rocket ship galileo by robert helen Uh, now fantasy literature fantasy literature which is surreal in which there is a imaginative uh, pictures are used which is unnatural supernatural power is used uh, and uh, william shakespeare a uh, midnight summer uh, night's dream and jonathan swift's uh, gulliver's travel are the example of fantasy literature uh, characteristics of fantasy modern folk tales magical fantasy alternative worlds and en enchanted journeys heroic fantasy mystery and supernatural fantasy so i will start from heroic fantasy in heroic fantasy uh, 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 there is always a, they are always in search of the quest that uh, what will be the result or what will be the motive 
and there is always uh, there is a, always a hidden magic or treasure or magic power which uh, we can't able to see the protagonist struggles with internal weakness and temptation the examples are the lord of rings uh, the hero and the crown are the examples of the heroic fantasy alternative worlds and ent enchanted journey in this the characters are using the alternative world and fantasy world which is not realistic uh, there are the examples of harry uh, harry potter and jonathan swift's gulliver travels and the allies adventure in wonderland then the mystery and supernatural fantasy in fantasy literature there are the supernatural power ghost stories used and uh, there are witchcrafts are used and uh, different types of supernatural powers are used and uh, uh, even in uh, the fantasy literature the portrait, picture is portrayed which is not real which the, doesn't ex exist in this uh, earth the example of this is the legend of sleepy hello by washington I mean, uh, then the modern folk tales. In this, the, there is a traditional tales are used in the modern folk tales. And uh, the popular authors uh, throughout the history have written them. Hence, uh, Christian Anderson has written the several uh, fairy tales. There are uh, different types of fairy tales uh, written in the uh, fantasy literature, the nightingale and the emperor's new clothes are the example of modern folk tales. Now I have differentiated between science fiction and fantasy literature. Uh, in science fiction, the uh, story generally predicts to the element of modern world and attempts to predict that how possibly develop. And in fantasy literature, supernatural power is used and there is no link with con contemporary world. And in uh, friction, uh, science fiction stories, there is a, a place of dystopian and a hyper uh, technology future is used in science fiction. As we can see in many movies and novels about uh, how the dystopian uh, is seen and how the high use of technology is done and in the fantasy literature there is a mythical cre uh, creature and the supernatural events are used in fantasy literature and the science fiction is divided by cyberpunk time travel al uh, alternate history military science fiction and superhuman and in fantasy literature is divided by horror fiction and mystery uh, mystery fiction superhero fiction Oh, these are my citations and thank you. Okay, so questions we have to. Okay, Milay. I mean, my question is how science fiction differs from heroic or supernatural fiction, oh, fantasy. Yeah. Like uh, science fiction is also uh, including the element of supernatural. So how does it differ from that? Uh, from fantasy literature? Yes. Uh, in science, uh, in uh, science, uh, sorry, in science technology, there is a you even there is a use of technology which are exist on earth whereas in fantasy literature uh, the elements which are used which doesn't exist on uh, supernatural things are used in the fantasy literature where uh, where is in uh, science fiction literature there is no use of if there is use but even the technology is helpful for human beings whereas in fantasy literature that doesn't exist I mean, my question is, is it right to say that science fiction literature can change what women's life look uh, like in the future? Uh, yes, uh, science fiction can change the human uh, life by uh, use of uh, high use of technologies and uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, your technologies are being made so that it can help in future.
My screen is visible. Hello everyone. Myself, Truida Damelia. My today's topic is Ethiopian and dystopian literature in 20th century. This is my personal information. Introduction. The early 20th century involved the social change. The Western industrial revolution brought large scale production and labor modification as a people moved out of cottage industry and into standardized factory setting. Machine began to fulfill many of the roles that had previously required skilled human labor. As people continuously were replaced in the machinization process, society began to express a concern for their place in their, this new world. What role would uh, humanity play? Under what condition would society live? Several social movements were born out of these questions. Some focusing on uh, preserving, preserving uh, previous uh, lifestyle, some focus on preserving human rights in the face of such a drastic change, while others still sought to the end, privatize industrialization and uh, replace it with uh, an entirely new social order. This information I taken from Britannica. 20th century. Twentieth century. The twentieth century was like a no time period before it. Einstein, Darwin, Freud, and Marx were just some of the thinkers who profoundly changed Western culture. This change took distinct shape in the literature of the twentieth century. Modernism, a movement that was a radical breakdown from nineteenth century Victorization, led to the postmodernism. As we know, the twentieth century was the development of the technology, science, and many other new fields. There is a uh, development and in the machinization people are living life like a me mechanism as we know as we saw in the movie the modern times there is a character tramp who who is not able to to convey who is not able to work with uh, technology so what is the dystopian literature in the 20th century is that the uh, everything was become uh, depend on technology uh, everything was operate with technology and uh, people who, who is not aware who is not able to work with it they feel uh, trouble with them what is dystopian fiction from movies to novel novel to video game uh, we know that dystopian fiction is con constantly change and developing as we know that we always like the movie in which uh, new development and science are using when uh, we know that when a southern film robot was uh, come people admire admire it a lot and uh, uh, praise it a lot but when it come into apply in the life that it become uh, problematic it become a trouble for the people who cannot uh, uh, we cannot they cannot work with it but those who are aware about technology for them it, it become easy and uh, easy to work with it when i uh, refer to study material that time i come to know that dystopian in which uh, everything was bad as possible people cannot uh, think about it dystopian means the imagination of the future of the world uh, compared to today was what is happening and uh, people uh, give idea get image do ima imagination of the future through the today's condition as we uh, compare to definition literate di dystopia or imagination society in which uh, depends the uh, demand of human nature are either uh, subverted, perverted, prever perverted or simply made unattainable. In dystopian literature, uh, the definition uh, tells that uh, the condition of human in which people are uh, forced to do something. If they don't want to do, then they have to do as a rule or a uh, power. John Mill first used the term dystopia in 1868 in the Merriton-Webster-Coleridge Dictionary. Now define it as an imaginary place where people lead a dehumanized and often a fearful life. In a dystopian literature, people live a life with fear. They have no option. They have no right to tell what they want to do. They have to just follow the rule which are made by society and a political party or we can say technology. In a, a literature, what is dystopian? Uh, an imaginary place where uh, the state of being is very bad or oppressive. The word dystopia comes from the deep uh, root uh, word, the mean bad place. A dystopia is the opposite of the utopia or uh, idyllic place. One very famous example of dystopian literature is Animal Farm by George Orwell, in which uh, situations start like a utopia. Everything was become a good when uh, they made a ruler. 
but uh, after the time come they change the what is the main sentence or the dialogue of the movie that all are equal but after uh, the condition come the situation was uh, happen then they be, uh, make a dialogue like us everyone was all are equal but some are more equal what is utopia utopia is con considered as an ideal perfect place especially in social political and moral aspect the idea of it is a divider derived from 1560 book by sir thomas more that describe an imaginary ideal society free of poverty and uh, suffering more coined the expression utopia from greek word it literally means no place conveying the idea that no such a place could actually exist because it doesn't reflect the reality of human nature or existence utopia is the something of the uh, out of a uh, which was uh, com which was completely was de depend on imagination which was not possible in the society the condition where everyone was happy situation was uh, under control of uh, human and uh, everything was gone like uh, the people want we can get example of uh, shangrila from the 1930 novel the lost horizon in which uh, the place of uh, uh the, it was a place where everything was a good and people live happy life but it is not possible in reality this was the situation when uh, dystopia there was a technology but uh, no green or happiness and the utopia where uh, everything was uh, in control and uh, happy feminist dystopia the idea of feminist dystopia is about uh, a condition of female dystopia uh, as we know that you, female's condition was a very bad from the past history female are not able to uh, stay, uh, uh, speak for their right but after the 20th century what happened then uh, there is a need of uh, then a female start uh, start to ask for their right and uh, raise their voice after that there is a uh, many female uh, writer who talk about the feminist uh, dystopia in which dystopia means the condition in which uh, uh, gender equality or uh, many such a thing i put one example of matrubhumi uh, indian society fear of inequality lack of development and other issue like a sexism become theme of for post apocalyptic -epoch film in india matrubhumi a nation without women uh, how can uh, it possible that uh, there is a no woman in the society it become dystopian literature if there is a no woman in the world exist feminist utopia the feminist utopia is a positive condition of human there is a no uh, gender identity there is equality between male and female character it's a, it is what a utopia feminist utopia example of diaspora dystopian novel lila which was a lila lila is a 2017 indian dystopian novel written by prayag akbar set in 2000 uh, it is a uh, imagination of 2014 the how was the situation of that time in which uh, character of uh, lila who lost uh, who his her daughter was kidnapped but she cannot able to find her in a uh, recent time the one web series also made in this uh, novel the as we study the 1984 in which we saw that the dystopian condition of the people there is a three world oceania eurasia and hysteria in which uh, situation uh, become true terrible for the protagonist and the female protagonist who want to who want to speak but uh, there was a lang they have no language to ask what they want to ask because the language was manipulated by the politician and uh, their language was changed like war is a peace and freedom in a slavery britain has been a uh, this des designer aristocrat monster its citizen on behalf of uh, spanish and a possible non existent leader there was a big bug uh, imagine image imaginary imaginary character big brother who rule every rule on everybody and uh, makes new rule conclusion in recent time we saw that there is a dystopian uh, writers have written to the idea of conflict between the science and the individual it clear that the dystopian form it uh, is a uh, far from exhausted and that it will be continue to flourish in the world of climate emergency global pandemic and the government imposed lockdown dystopian fiction can be a way educate and uh, warn warn humanity about the danger of current social and political structure these are my citation thank you Okay, questions. Through it, my question.
question is what influenced dystopian literature? As I said, dystopian literature make negative impact on uh, it is best positive also, but it uh, if it is uh, too much use of technology, then it become negative. As we saw in modern times, there is a character who cannot uh, who couldn't able to work with technology. For his for him, technology become dystopian. But for other who can uh, continue, who can who can uh, work with technology for them, it become uh, positive. Can you connect uh, uh, this to feminist dystopian in today's uh, uh, world scenario? Today's this feminist dystopia is nay, no, I cannot because today women can speak for themselves. They raise their voice. They have a right to ask the question. So today is not a dystopian situation for women. In some cases are there, but uh, in, in uh, like not 20th century. Now women are able to ask questions and uh, do what they want to do. Hello myself, Divya Parmar, and today I am going to uh, deal with a uh, topic, uh, Rupert Brooke as war poet. Let me share my screen. Visible? So my topic is Rupert Brooke as war poet. This is my information. Points to ponder. What is war poetry or what is war literature? About Rupert Brooke uh, or as war poet. About poem uh, piece by Rupert Brooke. Conclusion and citation. Uh, what is war poetry? Young young war poet uh, who, uh, of the First World War established war poetry as literary genre. So uh, uh, before uh, First World War, there is a uh, uh, literature uh, who uh, who covers the subject of war. But uh, as a literary genre, this war uh, particularly particularly the term established by the war poets. In 1940, hundreds of young men in uniform took uh, to writing poetry as way stri striving to express extreme uh, emotions at the very age of experience. So, in uh, uh, 1940, when the uh, First World War is going on, so many uh, uh, 
soldiers are uh, taking part uh, in this war and uh, by the experience of war they uh, uh, start to writing poetry they uh, uh, feel them uh, uh, they feel uh, uh, and uh, write about their exper experiences by this poetry although war poet trends traditionally to refer to active combatants a war poetry has been writing by many civilians caught up in the other ways so uh, most of the war uh, war literature written by uh, them who have a uh, personally experienced of a war or uh, uh, maybe they have a suf uh, suffered and troubled from a war situation they experience very well and then they write their experience through the medium of poetry or literature so the war uh, war poetry became the reflection of soldiers own experience of war suffering cause of war etc war poetry is not necessarily anti war so uh, uh, in war, war literature we can not find only about the uh, problems or uh, suffering from war also uh, we can find the patriotism or uh, love for nations uh, in uh, the war literature it is however about the very large question of life identity innocence guilt loyalty courage compassion humanity duty desire and that it's all etc were feel by the soldiers who are fighting in the field and by their experiences they write all, all those things and cover all those uh, aspects in their uh, poetry or we can say literature uh, uh, its response to the questions and its relation to immediate personal experiences to moment of nation, national and international crisis gives war poetry an extra literary uh, importance about rupert brook rupert brook uh, uh, full name of rupert brook is a uh, rupert chawner brook who, who was born on 3rd august 1887 and died on uh, 23rd april uh, 1915 he was an english poet known for his idealistic war sonnets written during the first world war uh, in today's time there are so many writers or critics uh, who who not count rupert brook as the main uh, main figure or uh, main point from the war poet but uh, uh, because his all uh, his all uh, sonnets are uh, related to the uh, positivity uh, towards uh, war he was a uh, handsome charming and talented brook was the national hero even before his death in 1950 at the age of 27 brook's early years were typically or uh, virtually every english boy who uh, who was a member of a well to do family he attended a prestigious boarding school rugby and where his father was a headmaster studied latin and greek and began to write poetry also he has joined a oxford uh, university to study further about the poem peace the poem written during late 1940s expressed the hopefully idealism and enthusiasm with uh, which britain uh, entered the war in sonnet peace brook uh, rejoiced the feelings of of that war is a uh, welcome uh, relief to a generation for whom life had been empty and void of meaning uh, it is a sonnet poem which is there uh, which is written in 14 lines Uh, the poem begins with the deter, uh, deterministic re recognition of the war as part of god's divine plan so in this poem uh, rupert brooks uh, says uh, uh, rupert brooks uh, rupert brooks according to rupert brooks the war uh, the war po situation is a, a divine plan uh, plan by god so that is all about being thankful to god for divine one the strength to reach peace and for the opportunity of having their uh, sins absolved through the death or good cause uh, here for to be able to enter in heaven so uh, this is a uh, uh, original poem now god be thanked who has matched us with his power our and caught uh, our youth and weakened us a sleeping with hand made sure clear eye and sharpened power to turn a swimmer into the cleansing leaping so uh, here the line uh, uh, 
this hover means the situation of war the poet is a very thankful to god to uh, to uh, to give him a chance to be a part of a war situation and for uh, the uh, god give a inspiration to a young uh, uh, in this uh, poem uh, rupert brooks uh, as uh, seems as like a messenger to a god who declares uh, the situation of a war to uh, in a future to be something good Uh, with the handmade sure and cl- clear eyes uh, this uh, this both verse uh, shows uh, words shows the maturity level so whatever the uh, soldiers or the uh, fighters are doing uh, they doing by their maturity and and god god give them a uh, power the turns uh, the swimmers into the cleansing lippy led from a word ga- grown old and cold and weary leave a sea hearts that honors could not move a half men and their dirty songs and dreary and all the little emptiness and love so here uh, we can see a contrast between two words sea hearts and a uh, 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 sea hearts means who are a, who are a coward or a, a running to a, running from their duty to be fight in, for their country uh, uh, rupert brook call them a, a openly a half men uh, it is like a uh, insulting to them who are uh, uh, not want to be a part of a, a war or a, uh, not give their contribution to, uh, to to their country oh we who uh, we who have a non shame we have found release there there uh, where there is no ill no grief but sleep has mendeling not broken save this body lost but breathe nothing to shake uh, the laughing hearts a long pre- peace there so uh, in in this lines also uh, he is talking about uh, he was talking about uh, 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 the people who are avoiding the situation of war Uh, where there is no ill uh, so uh, if we become a part of a war god give uh, uh, here by he said that god gives us chance to uh, uh, to uh, whatever we have done as a part of a sin if we uh, uh, do our contribution in war uh, uh, we uh, uh, give up uh, give our contribution to war then there is no illness no grief and no no sleeping has mendeling so by this line uh, we also mentioned that if we uh, we have done so many sins during our life uh, if we pa- take a part in war and died for our country maybe god gives us a heaven so uh, maybe uh, uh, this line shows that a uh, religious uh, or uh, religious type of thinking of group sin and uh, uh, hell and heaven all those relating relating to the religion or but only agony that has ending and the worst friend and enemy is but death so uh, the agony can be solved only by the uh, happiness uh, only by uh, uh, to be uh, happy so for the soldiers uh, they died uh, for their uh, they fighting for their country and died for their country so uh, so ultimately happiness or uh, for them agony can solved by that but so they are happy uh, soldiers are happy to be died for their country conclusion in this poem poem poet covers the themes like love and peace love for country and uh, they uh, wants a peace from the war so uh, so by the poem poet address the value of honor of fighting in the war so uh, in all our uh, poem we can find a uh, a uh, positive side of war poet uh, shows the positive side of war so uh, this is my presentation thank you and this is citation hello divya what is the intention of war poetry 
war poetry or war literature uh, written up upon the, uh, uh, written by the uh, members who were uh, personally experienced in the war and uh, they wrote about a uh, uh, situation of war what they are feeling in a uh, uh, that particularly situation about identity or uh, about uh, uh, their thinking of death and uh, uh, their duty so uh, the intention of war poetry to show the situation of war and how the uh, fighters are feeling during the war Robert Brook joined as a Navy. Do you find any his own experience in the style of writing of his poem? In this particular poem, I am not find that reference uh, which he has experienced by the Navy, but uh, uh, the situation of a war uh, it is uh, there in poem. So. Uh, I am not able to find his experience of Navy in this poem. Now is it proper? I have put one question in the in the comment of YouTube. Are you able to see that? It is a kind of a poll in YouTube. I think we'll have to see. If you are able to see the poll, then give a response to that. Yeah. Can I start, sir? Okay. Good afternoon, friends. So as we are dealing with the paper number five, and uh, for that I am uh, going to present. The comparison uh, of war poetry and uh, Bollywood uh, patriotic songs. Here I have taken uh, uh, the poem The Soldier by Rupert Brooks. Uh, I will not repeat the information about Rupert uh, Brooks as we have uh, seen a uh, very uh, recent presentation. Uh, I will uh, deal with, uh, with the direct his poem that. Uh, I have uh, con uh, connect or com uh, connect this poem with the uh, song uh, that is the um, A Vatan from Razi. So we will first uh, look at the uh, poem The Soldier by Rupert Brooke. Uh, he is English poet uh, and uh, uh, he was he has right, uh, written this poem during World War One, and uh, we can see the poem that uh, it, uh, it has uh, written in the uh, narrative style as a first person narrator and uh, the, soldier, the soldier was the last of five poems of Ru uh, Brooks uh, war sonnets uh, about the start of World War I. Uh, as Brooks reached at the uh, end of his series, uh, he turned to what happened when the soldier died. 
while abroad in the middle of the conflict uh, when conflict was going uh, going on in the world war 1 at that time he has written this poem and he has portrayed his experience about that when the soldier was written the bodies of uh, service men were not regularly br uh, uh, brought um, back to their homeland but buried nearby uh, where they had died in world war 1 this produced vast graveyards of Brit uh, british soldiers in uh, foreign fields and allows brook to portray these graves as representing a piece of the world uh, that will be forever england uh, as he has written uh, that uh, when, wherever i died and uh, where, wherever they buried uh, my body it will be england forever uh, writing at the start of the war brook uh, prefigured the vast numbers of soldiers whose, uh, whose bodies uh, torn to shreds or buried, uh, buried by uh, shell fire uh, would uh, remain buried on unknown as a result as the methods of fighting that war when we uh, see the poem Uh, we can say that he is telling that uh, that there is uh, some corner of a foreign field that is uh, for ever england uh, this line is showing that uh, the patriarch feeling uh, of the particular writer who is re uh, writing um, or the painting words by the using uh, his own emotions that how uh, he was thinking about nationhood and patri uh, patriotic feelings so now i am uh, dealing with the song that is i have selected that a vatan is a bollywood patriotic song from a movie razi which has the theme of a na uh, theme of nationhood and the feeling of patriotism sacrificing the life for the nation and the lyric has its own kind of essence of extreme happiness for own nation uh, in the movie the protagonist uh, female protagonist is uh, uh, doing uh, kind of act of spying for the nation and that is showing that how the both the uh, we can say both the figure uh, here are a feeling uh, extreme feeling of nationhood and how they are working for their nation the writer of the song is gulzar and uh, you can uh, go to the direct video um, by clicking here so how the poem and song is similar the poem come out during war and the song come out in a different way as i have say, uh, said that uh, the po uh, song has uh, uh, has come uh, during uh, she was uh, working in another country for own country uh, the uh, say uh, we can say similar theme uh, main theme is nationhood uh, death for homeland feeling of soldier Uh, same narrative style uh, individualism uh, though universal feeling of patriotism so i uh, try to uh, connect this line uh, the song uh, the song's lines are main jahan rahu jahan main yaad rahe tu main jahan rahu jahan main yaad rahe tu e mere vatan and i have put the lines of the poems that there is some corner of a foreign field that is forever england this both the stanza or the lines are saying uh, the same thing which has right uh, poets or the song lyrics uh, has put there then i have taken the uh, poem the target by ivar gurney and uh, the target by the uh, war poets during the uh, world war 1 and the uh, ivar gurney is one of them uh, this poem is about the shooting and be uh, and the uh, ad adversary adversaries had one choice kill or to be uh, or be killed it is also about the job of the soldier the soldiers on uh, each side have a job to do uh, but also it is the fight to keep their uh, lives uh, it also is one soldier beginning uh, uh, for forgiveness for the uh, other because the advers adversary had uh, had been shot and alive felt guilty for shooting an adversary here poet is saying that i shot him and he had uh, it had to be one of us uh, tawas uh, him or me uh, he shot uh, uh, one soldier uh, we, uh, who is who has come uh, from the um, uh, another country and the, he is that he uh, he is telling here that this is the work or the duty of soldier when uh, they have to protect themselves and and they are shooting another man 
who is coming another uh, from the another country and it is uh, uh, not to be guilty uh, because the soldier uh, soldiers are same the, uh, the from the places are different that from uh, where they are coming i have taken in the reference that uh, song from the uh, movie holiday ashka na ho ashka na ho is a bollywood patriotic song from the movie holiday which has the theme of emotions of soldier and loved people uh, or family members uh, here uh, the soldier is addressing his own feeling towards his people as well as nation and requesting them to uh, do not cry for his death ashkam uh, ashka meaning uh, uh, tears say so he uh, in the song the speaker is saying or the soldier the there is there is the use uses of um, voice of soldier and uh, soldier is saying to their loved ones people or the family members that uh, do not cry when i uh, when i uh, die because i have i don't have that uh, uh, guilt or that uh, uh, feeling of uh, uh, lostness when i died for my nation how the poem and song is similar uh first both the uh, both poem and songs uh, both are monologue and uh, in this soldier is saying the emotions of killed another man uh, and uh, uh, his thoughts uh, on it uh, this poem shows us the effect of the war on the ordinary man both uh, songs and uh, poem uh, are addressing ordinary man that who is not part of war but uh, uh, the family member or the uh, their people are part of war and uh, they are addressing uh, the ordinary men who are uh, around them also in this song uh, soldier is saying to ordinary people uh, 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 to not cry on his death he urged to remember him as a optimistic breeze of air Uh, he shows his patriotism by the words uh, life uh, like if i will not come back next year so do not cry for me believe that i have died for the our homeland so uh, here the, the voice of soldier is saying to ordinary people or their people is that uh, if i am becoming soldier or i am choosing to uh, uh, save my country so i have to die for my country and that is uh, not to be guilt uh, so this is my work citation thank you you are asking questions Yeah, Misha, what is your view about soldiers? So, um, soldiers are uh, uh, who who are always think about nation first themselves, and uh, uh, who are uh, the people who are choosing to be soldiers by their own choice. So. Uh, they can't uh, sing a song uh, sing the songs for them in a very so called way but we have to respect them in uh, at another level and uh, yeah they are sacrificing their life so they are respect uh, respectable uh, by my side So, Emisha, Ivar Karni's poem is talked about the duty of soldier, and uh, the song Ashk Nao talks about the message to uh, his family. Do uh, so. Uh, how you connect the both? Uh, what is your point of view on that? So, In I would like to recite uh, some lines from the target poem. that my uh, the second stanza is like that my mother she can't sleep for fear of what might be a hap uh, happening here to me perhaps it might be best to die and set her fears at rest so uh, and then uh, he also mentioned that uh, well if they get me 
first i will find that boy and tell him all my mind and see who fired the bullets first and ask his pardon if i dust last answer is like all uh, all's a tangle ha, uh, here is my job a man might rave or shout or song and god he takes no sort of heed this uh, this is a bloody mess indeed so he is mentioning uh, his duty as well as uh, the aspect of his family members is he is saying that uh, my mom has fear kind of uh, so i have uh, if i died so uh, her fear will be in rest she if if the poet or the soldier is died in the battlefield so her her uh, his mom's mother's fear fear will rest in uh, the state state of mind uh, of his mother so kind of uh, he is addressing also uh, family members here or uh, we can say ordinary people so uh, by that stanzas or by that shades of poems i have connected to this song ashkana Hello everyone. I am Hina Basarvia, and I, today I am dealing with the topic that is a moment. This is my personal information. And now, the Dadaism started in the First World War, and uh, that times all of the disillusionment, disinterested. This was attitude of the generation, which was suffering the egoist of the chaotic universe. that time the men begins losing uh, faith in everything ethical values social structures and the dignity of men become meaningless a word first dispersed in the small cabaret in zurich after that the new york and the uh, berlin and finally uh, shooted in the paris the word was dada meaning of the dadaism according to cambridge universe uh, cambridge dictionary a movement it art literature music and film de development in the early 20th century that went against the accepted idea of what is beautiful or good art and use the humor and absurd as a way of way to protect against the societies here the uh, dadaism also the expression of the uh, think of absurdity meaningless life the word become the symbolic and represent uh, representative of movement whose ultimately goal was it own destructions a movement which represented not a new school but the re reputations of old school a movement which was not a movement at all but a protest a state of mind gesture of the soul and dadaism began in the 1915 and i in 1924 the accord according the founder of the uh, tristan zara and entitled the dada in the open air and belief of the dadaism are important to contemporary scene in art 
literature and theater because they are uh, subjectly parallel to element in the field of today it's believed into three basic ideas spontaneity negations and absurdities and three categories overlap the great deal for there are actually all part of done thoughts all are dependence on the thoughts in spontaneity negations and absurdities all are dependent in the thought of mind and one of the especially preoccupation of dadaism is indictment of literature and dadaism believe that even the best literature created so far is imitations and even the best writer are dependent on other for their works Uh, zara believed that the literature is never beautiful Be- beauty is dead he, uh, and literature is not important either of effect nor one but the writer it is sh- or should be a private affair between the writers and himself the founder of zara he also uh, gave to idea of the dadaism it's a uh, uh, in the literature of beauty but dadaism also present the uh, meaning meaninglessness and all the uh, the things uh, what uh, the all the things is uh, not be a uh, should of private affairs uh, only the poet's mind and dada was born of need for independent independence and disturb towards un- unity it means that that is not uh, give to idea of so high, highly but also is the think of the uh, give to uh, uh, independence and uh, un- uh, unity of distrust towards and aragon and breton had been experimenting with methods of psycho ana- analysis during the birth and growing of dadaism and there can only be no however through spontaneous activities and spontaneity was displayed by the dadaism it outward from their manifesto and there was an attempt made to destroy the usual effect of the language and give a more certain effect of dissolving thought and the dadaism also the uh, also the development of the plasticity it's a not in a uh, uh, real best of the things in a very uh, not uh things of the p- proper way but is also plastic uh, plastically of all the things and become a magical complex of the image and two theories of spontaneity in the simultaneity and beauty uh, brutism simultaneity is uh, also the ev- uh, event that the uh, become the sa- same time so one process the sensitive life appears as a simultaneous middle of noise color and ryth- rhythms and brutism means uh, a diversity of the existence and it consists of noise music with a imitative effect and negative attitude of the dadaism is show the lack of real uh, real value everything is given the illusory importance and and according to zara proposed only two solution of the dadaism no more looks no more words stop looking and stop talking and dadaism see absurdity in the life and everything is paradoxical everything is a op- opposite harmony the stara dada manifesto 1918 the technical maker every statement abuse i uh, also the stara's uh, stara also give her, uh, give his uh, own works manifesto 1990 he declared that uh, i was manifesto i want nothing yet i say certain things and its principle i am against manifestos and as i am against principle it means all all those things uh, show that the dadaism see the absurdity of in life according to hughes bell dadaism was a synthesis of romantic dynastic and demo, demontic theories of the 19th century and focus on the poetry dadaism uh, i taken the uh, one uh, literatures in the dadaism on focus on the poetry and zara 1920 manifesto proposed cutting word from a newspaper and randomly selecting fragment to uh, write a poetry 
it's uh, all the uh, you you all might get, get the point uh, all, we are all act, uh, do the activities and uh, uh, activities of the dadaism and all our uh, uh, participant their activities and cutting cutting the newspapers and uh, after create your own way of the style of poetry make the poetry in literary art dadaism focus on poetry particular the so called sound poetry invented by hugo bell dada is point attack traditional concept of the attack on the traditional concept of poetry uh, dadaism or not to follow the traditional po point of view of poetry dadaism also own thinkings and own style it's a not uh, the particular form of the dadaism and then uh, not order interpret the sound of meaning of language and dadaism did not take a negative view of modernity and urban life that uh, also it uh, reflect the cons considered of natural terrain that open up a new idea for life and art and i am concluded with the one quotations by francis picabia say that dada is like you hope nothing like your paradise nothing like your idols nothing like your heroes nothing like your religious nothing all those things are nothing uh, and that is also uh, represent the nothingness in the in this literatures and what is the meaning of this dadaism nothing nothing and dada moment also born only the independence and uh, destruct towards the unity and this is my references So Hinaba. Just a minute, yeah. Who is asking? Divya Parmar? Yes. Yes, you can ask now. Hinaba, you mentioned in your slide about Tara's building, uh, about uh, literature uh, uh, not important either or effect no on but the writers. it is should be a private affair between the writers and himself i am not able to understand that so can you put some light on that yes yes uh, divya the stara also founder of the uh, dadaism movement uh, he uh, and uh, dadaism movements not give to any particular of idea not give to uh, to some uh, some uh, Uh, some importance idea it dadaism also in the give to idea of independence and the uh, free things of mind and uh, the star zara believe okay and uh, as, uh, as uh, zara also uh, the believe uh, give to a literature literature give to meaning the meaning of the meaning of the life and uh, here is stara opinion uh, opinion that the literature uh, it's uh, not a uh, beautiful he uh, he ignored that the beauty of literature he also give to the, the he also particular that time of the the tara the show that the idea of the dadaism is also based on the first war one and that time the many peoples are suffering and not uh, no and so many are nervous things and not that and that uh, the give the relation of the the uh, literatures and uh, the uh, zara also uh, found the new thing and new idea of the literature is the dadaism so in a one of your slide you have point out that how, uh, dada was born for independence so how it is born for independence in what term yes yes that dada uh, for independence it means uh, that give the idea after dadaism also reflected the first world for uh, sec, uh, first first world war and uh, that time many people are suffering and uh, also the da dada uh, 
data is not give to any particular sense of the ideas and not dadaism also uh, thinks in the whatever you do that and uh, what uh, what your own soul uh, in things about in this situation and uh, relax in, uh, and the war time or people are also suffering that time and uh, that uh, dadaism also give to independence like that the free of mind and uh, you uh, relax in, uh, the uh, relax uh, give to relax uh, of this uh, uh the first world war situations Good afternoon. Myself is uh, uh, Nakum Chanay. Today's my topic is uh, Wilfred Owen as a war poet. This is my personal details. This is a quote about the Wilfred Owen. I am not uh, conveyed with her poetry. My subject is war. In the pity of the war, the poetry is in the pity. Yet there's uh, elegies are the generation is no sense. Uh, no sense on the uh, colonial theory. They may be uh, to the next. All the poet can be uh, can to uh, today is one. That is a why the true poets must be uh, truthful. Uh, welfare on the welfare Edward Stellier on uh, is the born in the eight March eight uh, eight March eighteen ninety three. He's uh, he's the eldest. Eldest of four, uh, eldest of the four children, was born in uh, Old West here, uh, Shropshire, where his the father was working in railway clerk. The family soon had to move. Blickenhead and the Wilfred was the educated at the independent Blickenhead Institute until uh, 1907. When his uh, father was appointed to a senior post, uh, his uh, Uh, Shrembury Wilfred took the four, uh, four years uh, free course uh, as a pupil teacher in the uh, Shrembury uh, Technical School, earning not uh, only a good grounding in a French English literature, the earth science and the uh, and other subjects, uh, but also experience of teaching children from a very poor, uh, poor homes. The studying of Wordsworth and the kids uh, made him a long to be a poet, and he started writing the various. He is a, a, a qualified as the elementary school the school teachers, but the career of Wordsworth uh, were a poor, so he decided to try a London U- University external degrees, passing the first stage uh, <laughs> material tick in the nineteen eleven. He uh, he is uh, the first World War uh, soldier. 
in the in a january 1970 on arrived on this uh, western front at the northern end of the uh, small uh, sector most of his uh, letters poem are based on the experience during the next uh, next four months about the first world uh, first world war during time the condition where applying the filter cold insect train deep mood liberated trenches uh, constant uh, shelling is a first first uh, ordeal he is uh, described in his uh, will uh, will uh, letters and his uh, letter poem the sanitary and the we- uh, weather turn into the senate fo- uh, forced eventually after uh, being a blow into the air by a shell while a, a shell uh, while shell while asleep and uh, coming to among the scattered remain of the another officer he was was sent to a shell shock center in the june is the uh, is the kelegas lokat war hospital near the uh, inigers on poetry uh, pain and the theoretically are the often the uh, twin uh, when uh, contempts uh, his own poetry in the many of the poems the opening like the often given the uh, opening words uh, propel the body into the action is the poetry move him into the sun uh, cramp uh, in that uh, funeral hall so abraham rose and uh, clove the woods and when he dropped it, more shunelic uh, that uh, verily sit on the bed i am blind and the three partial halted against the shed of the last hill similarly in the tells the body of the already there uh, entering that poetic uh, uh, canvas in the middle uh, some of uh, some of his uh, 1990 uh, poem uh, in the 1990 poems insipility uh, strange meeting uh, spring uh, of uh, of me so and the other are among the greatest poems about the war uh, war in the language in the famous in the uh, most famous in, in all about the writer uh, during about the world war is the poem he uh, tells at the uh, duclemis uh, Duke est one of the most famous of all war poems in a probably the best known of the old uh, wilfred owns poem tells at uh, duclemis at the uh, was written in uh, response at the uh, Uh, geonetics uh, or war various being uh, written by the people like uh, uh, Jenny Spock in dead uh, pops that uh, uh, friend uh, friend of whom on address uh, directly in the closing line of the poem in the uh, in the remain owns the best known poem are perhaps is the greatest uh, statement about the war in in uh, in the poem the title of this poem the poem by the british poet written uh, wilfred own the did draft at the cleric uh, lock art the where hospital near the in brooks in the 1970 own had uh, admitted to the hospital after suffering from the shell shock after a period uh, to uh, fighting in the battles of the smoke at the hospital he made uh, the older poet uh, sigmund sens uh, who had uh, just uh, published his book the old humanist man in 1917 his uh, direct un- uh, unflinching uh, style allowed on to bring similar characteristic into the his own work the title is taken from a latin text reprint uh, in full on the last line that uh, the taken from the poet uh, horens is the means uh, it means uh, it is a sweet, uh, sweet and fitting to die on a, uh, one's country the st- a statement which the owns experience and he proven to be an old ally we uh, and which uh, the poem work his uh, dis- uh, work his uh, display uh, to uh, vivid uh, description of the realities to a trench warfare warfare
is about the poem the famous poem is the war poem which is since the first uh, during the first world war he has come to the main uh, anti war poetry that the image of the young man uh, coughing uh, coughing up the lungs uh, remains at the classic example of the uh, war realization in uh, its uh, full uh, frontal shock uh, value yet to uh, read the text as a history as a intrinsic bit uh, of uh, trench horrors is uh, to uh, ignore of the single crypt as a poetry neither the transparent uh, in uh, envelope uh, the trench experience nor just uh, language whispering to the it's about uh, it's a uh, Uh, it's a duel at the dikrom at is the one was a, a primal moment in the history on not just uh, english but the world poetry when uh, lyric of the bears most of fully the uh, drama about the modern industrial warfare in the, in this the uh, in this the poem use of the theme is uh, petro uh, is a uh, Uh, patriotism uh, various of the re- uh, various of the reality and the suffering uh, suffering is used uh, used in the theme <clears throat> in a uh, uh, sharp contract the uh, dues at the dikrom at the, he said the war uh, revived the body and the main against the abstract uh, her- heroic of monarch and the uh, in the uh, surf uh, surf uh, surfic uh, serific in the process he plays the three uh, sector experience a uh, night march a uh, gas attack and the uh, dromic uh, ne- uh, neurosis and almost a single uh, vertical uh, body ex the dress he had a very pure of the uh, vein his the moves from the export export of uh, feet in the first ranja and the explored the nervous in the final one time he held uh, spence as the one night march experience of follow in the blush into the another until the final part of the poem in the literary about a uh, night march he the uh, tentative rhyme of the march give away to the dramatic uh, uh, dramatic uh, uh, conclusion of the repeat the first glance is the poem the may seem to bear out the theme of a uh, possessive suffering which led uh, wb yates object the word poet and attack the own in uh, particularly when yates uh, with uh, with energy notes that uh, somebody has put his uh, roast and most famous poem in the gla- uh, glass uh, glass case in the british museum the object uh, of the dustbin may well be in the uh, uh, manual uh, manual spit uh, of uh, duels but any simple uh, uh, any simple nation of the positively that uh, ridiculously levels at uh, owns elevated in the poem not by the tragic joy that yet uh, revealed but by the by an uh, All, uh, altogether new kind of uh, atheistic any empathy this is my side chanvi i asked the question uh, what is the main message in poem jules it decorumist in 
in the main message in in this uh, uh, in this poem uh, he is the realistic war uh, realistic war and uh, and the horrific and uh, in uh, horrific and uh, uh, in humans horrific and Yes, in the slide uh, which you have mentioned the original poem, and in that you mentioned that uh, pro war uh, pro war verses, and it it was written by J C Pop. So uh, I uh, I'm asking that uh, can you explain what is pro war uh, pro war poetry or verses, and how it differs from the pro, uh, form of war poetry. Different in the two, the uh, word poetry is like uh, is the uh, depend on in uh, depend on the uh, loose of uh, loose of innocence of Uh, word poetry de uh, depends in the emotions, feelings, uh, lose of uh, innocence uh, of the uh, of the nature is uh, all about the history of the first world war, and uh, I don't know the word poetry difference. Good afternoon, all. Today, I, uh, today I will present absurdism and existen existentialism. Uh, this was an image of uh, absur absurdism and existentialism. Uh, Sartre, uh, just to clarify, this person was referring to the philosophy or of uh, existentialism associated with. Uh, 20th, uh, 20th century European philosophers, particularly John Paul uh, Sartre, who uh, popularized the term. Some scholars uh, extend uh, the term back to Sorin, uh, Kierkegaard, and others extend uh, it, it as uh, far back as 
scored uh, scored at uh, this uh, this quick article uh, will explain and contrast the absurdism of Albert Camus and and the exceptionalism of John Paul Sartre. Uh, what what is uh, absurdism? So what uh, so what about absurdism? First, we'll uh, go over what absurd absurdist believe. Uh, and then we we all uh, contrast uh, the major di difference according to ab absurdism uh, it is it's an only nature for, uh, nature for humans to seek out meaning in life however co conflict occurs when we go to do so and find the universe is really called uh, chaotic and uh, utterly uh, dev devoid of any meaning at all it's this, uh, this contradiction between our mind search for a meaning and uh, the literally of nature. Uh, the absurdism's found, founder was uh, Albert Camus calls the absurd. Uh, Camus' absurdism uh, is uh, about working within, within our human uh, limitation, but without uh, abandon, abandoning uh, our respect for our, ourselves or the truth. Absurdist uh, often either adopt or, or uh, construct a belief structure that provides a day-to-day -day repress uh, reprieve from the crushing imp impossibility of true meaning uh, such a construct uh, allows us to trick our evolution so brains into uh, extracting uh, meaning from the universe while never forgetting that the system itself is a trick for those who come to accept the, that life is without a uh, instinct uh, meaning, uh, there there are main um, there are three main ways to react: philosophical suicide, uh, such uh, such as uh, complete, uh, completely completely um, embracing uh, a religion or a spirituality framework, because one believes it is too hard to say or difficult to live uh, on without one. Physical suicide, uh, due to life being ultimately meaningless, and therefore either either too boring or too painful uh, painful to continue. Acceptance, uh, which means uh, counting uh, on uh, continuing on despite knowing that ultimate meaning is not possible. Camus' absurdism as uh, the most satisfactory response as, as it to takes the third option of acceptance and works from there. What is existentialism? First, let's go over what what, what existentialism is. Existentialists believe that the world uh, intrinsically uh, has no objective meaning, but through a combination of free will, awareness, and personal, uh, personality responsibility, we can create our own subjective meaning. The basis, the basis of uh, Sartre's uh, ex existentialism uh, is the pre pre is the press uh, existence pre preset ex essence uh, meaning no general account of what is uh, what it means uh, to be uh, human can be given uh, and that meaning can be only be decide and construct through existence uh, itself. What are uh, what are key of differences between absurdism and existentialism? Uh, absurdism isn't as set on the value of meaning in uh, one's life as existentialism is for a uh, Sartre uh, constructing meaning was ontolo ontological. It was uh, your essence and being, beings plus uh, the pursuits of meaning can have meaning it in itself. While existentialism's goal is a creation is the creation of one's essence, absurdism uh, is just about em embracing the absurd uh, or meaningless in life and uh, simultaneously uh, rebelling uh, against it uh, and em embracing uh, what life uh, life can offer us. For absurd absurdists. Uh, meaning is more uh, transits and what meaning is always uh, nullified by death in the end.
for absurdist uh, any meaning we construct is ultimately meaningless since the universe is uh, an absurd place we can uh, we can't even being to fully compare comprehend uh, the pursuit of created meaning is uh, possible with existentialism and that is uh, its goal also existentialism believe uh, in free will and that uh, we have a duty to pursue freedom while absurdist aren't to so set on the concept of free will they believe that people should just try their best or to live in the defense to uh, and and in spite of the psychological tension of the absurd conclusion so although both construct are similar you see uh, you can see how camus departed uh, from the existentialist crowd and went his own way uh, with some unique ideas about how to live life and what uh, reality is so Uh, my question is uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, absurdism and existence existentialism uh, existentialism is a uh, is about uh, is about a man, a man a person who uh, who were uh, who, who were uh, Uh, abs absurd absurdism is uh, about uh, universe is a uh, universe is a uh, rational and uh, and uh, and meaningless and uh, absurd uh, and uh, externalism is a belief a belief in a a, a word we uh, were we were we were born in a in a world into a world uh, for a <laughs> we were bo born into a world uh, for uh, that not uh, no no it that had not no sense a per, uh, to each person believe in that uh, uh, to each person uh, be, believe that uh, uh, her ability to, uh, his or uh, her own ability to live uh, meaning of sense and uh, peace khushbu my question is uh, what did the existentialist believe existentialist believe that uh, a uh, that the world uh, uh, we uh, we were born uh, in uh, we were born into world uh, that uh, that uh, no no sense a person uh, that the per, per, that the person uh, make uh, ability to his or her and her own life to live her own way
here. Hello everyone, my name is Nehal Papuahi. Today's my topic is the soldier Rupert Brooke. Introduction The Soldier, sonnet by Rupert Brooke, published in 1915. The collection is 1940. Perhaps his most famous poem. It reflects British sorrow over, over and pride in the young man who died in the World War II, narrated by, narrated by an English soldier. In the closing uh, set set of uh, the poem, speaker suggests that his soul is in inter internally linked with England. Robert Brooke. Robert Brooke is one of the most fa famous uh, war poet. He was born in 1887, died in uh, 1950 during World War I. He is known for his idealistic war poetry. In 1950, he was asked to join the Royal Navy by Wilson Churchill and he accepted. What is the word poetry? Poets have written about the experience of war since the Greeks, but the young soldier poet of the First World War established war poetry as a literary genre. Their combined voice has become one of the defined texts of 20th century Europe. In 1940, hundreds of young men in uniform took to writing poetry as a way of surviving or express extreme emotion at the very each of experience. The Soldier as War Poetry The Soldier was the last of five poems of Brooke's war sonnet about the start of World War I. As Brooke read the end of his series, he returned to what happened when the soldier died while abroad in the middle of the conflict. When the soldier was returned, the bodies of uh, servicemen were not regularly brought back to their homeland, but viewed nearby where they had died. What is the typical message in war poetry? The typical message in the war poem in the courage uh, and the heroines of soldiers represent of their countries as the familiar and, the, and save their own nation. Moreover, poems started sharing the real view of the war, for example, the death of uh, parents causing, causing the soldiers Psychological damage by the year of 1950. Structure and language. There is not a clearly defined structure to the poem, although on does ma uh, make us to uh, rhyme mostly of ultimately line ending. The poem opens with the description of trans life and the condition faced by the soldiers. Then comes the gas attack. The poem offers a graphic description of the effect of such an attack. Conclusion. In conclusion, The Soldiers by Robert Book is a highly evocative thoughts provide a broken piece. It clearly illusion poets' feelings towards the war when the began and the, the sense of patriotism that was uh, aroused in the British population in higher, in insight with the many lives lost in the tragedies of war, mad behaviors and the concept of war and the definition Defining one's country being a glorious thing is a glorious references. Thank you. Questions from yes. My question is, what kind of poem the soldier?
Jnana. Why did Rupert group not dissolve Jnana? Why did Rupert group brought the soldiers? Previous question, there is no answer. Yeah. Yes, now you can ask. Never. Why did Rupert Group brought the soldier? Uh, Rupert Group uh, brought the soldiers uh, because uh, he uh, waiting a new deployment. Hello, I am Nilay Rathod and I am going to present on a brief history of Surrealism. So, Surrealism is a culture, cultural movement that developed in Europe in the aftermath of World War I in which artists depicted unavering illogical scenes and developed the technique to allow unconscious mind to ex express itself. Sur uh, surreal defies logic. It is irrational. Dreams and the working of the subconscious mind inspire the surrealistic art, filled with strange image and bizarre juxtaposition. According to Andre Breton, it, its aim was to resolve the previously contradicted condition of dream and reality into absolute reality, a super reality. It produced work of painting, writing, theater, filmmaking photography and other media. Surrealism sprang out the previous Dada movement. It was a way of life that most artists tried to escape their parties by adopting the Sigmund Freud's theory, his dream theory, the development of Surrealism. Dadaism developed nearly at the same time in Zurich, New York and Paris during the First World War. It further made appearance in Germany before con concentrating uh, in France. It flourished from 1966 to 1922 with the aim of uh, ridiculing what it, its uh, adherents uh, regarded to be worth, worthlessness of modern world. It promoted anti-war and anti-art works. Many people joined the movement by believing that the nationalists, nationalists and colonists were the um, major reason behind the world war first world war the movement of dada was anti-art since anything of which art stood it depicted as op opposite this was an attempt by the dadaist to purify art by mocking it his uh, <coughs> proponent of this movement to develop pieces that were very playful and teasing like uh, this painting uh, of Mona Lisa having a moustache. Nearly every data piece arose a reaction which was a intended objective since the moment of mm -hmm. to annihilate all the tradition, traditional element of culture and aesthetics. De uh, despite exi existing for a short time, 
Dada is the left an enduring legacy to contemporary art, ad advertising and social order. And if it, uh, it were not present, it is unlikely that the surrealism and the other, other modern art movements would have existed. Surrealism is largely considered as an outgrowth of earlier Dada movement because its ideas are better organized and more relevant to the real world. Features of surrealistic art dreamlike scenes, symbolic images, unexpected illogical juxtaposition, bizarre assemblage of uh, ordinary object, automatism and spirit of spontaneity, games and techniques to create random effects, personal iconography, visual pun, distorted figure and biometric shapes, unanalytic sexual and taboo subject, primitive or childlike designs. How surrealism became a cultural movement. Art for art, art for the distant past can appear surreal to the modern eye. Dragon and uh, demon populate ancient frescoes and uh, medieval tribe fights. Italian Renaissance painter Gospect Archimedo used uh, trumpet uh, all effect. Uh, to depict human faces made of fruit, flower, insects, fish, or fish. The, Nether, ne the Netherlandish artist Hieronymus Bosch turned uh, bardier animals and household objects into terrifying monsters. Like uh, this can be seen in uh, the pictures. Like there are many sea animals that are small, but the uh, picture is very large. And there is a cricket upside down in the side position. In contrast, the 20th century surrealistic uh, rebelled against the conventional moral codes and inhabitants of the conscious mind. The movement emerged from Dada and avant garde approach to art that mocked mock the establishment. Marxist ideas sparked a disdain for capitalist society as a thirst for social rebellion, the writing of Sigmund Freud suggested that higher forms of truth might be found in the subconscious more. Moreover, the chaos and, the chaos and tragedy of World War I, World War I spurred a desire to break from traditional and explore new forms of expression. Features of surrealistic literature, automatic writing, juxtaposition, Association, irrationality, subconscious mind, dream, and fantasy. So, in automatic writing, basically, like what writers would do, that whatever thoughts come to their mind, they they would write it. That doesn't draft it, but directly write it as it is. In juxtaposition, they use um, crazy and opposite images, like uh, they would compare uh, shoes uh, with head. And a door with snake association in in, in these um, uh, writers uh, associate a uh, dream with reality and uh, and um, portray these uh, these two, two two things together irrationality so as we know that surrealist surrealism is not uh, never focused on rationality the, their art, literature, and everything is uh, illogical or irrational. Subconscious mind that they believe that uh, that uh, we should uh, let our subconscious mind uh, flow, uh, flow, and uh, and uh, they were um, highly uh, highly influenced by Sigmund Freud's uh, dream theory. So, so they, what they did was that. To write or uh, paint the things whichever was stored in their uh, sub subconscious or unconscious mind. Surrealistic literature. The first surrealistic work, according to leader Breton, was a uh, last chance, the Melodor, and the first work written and published by his group of surrealists was a uh, last chance magnetics in uh, May and June 1990. 
in 1924 surrealistic movement was officially founded when britain breton published the first surrealist manifesto which uh, defined its uh, intention the surrealistic philosophers and artists felt that uh, dadaism did not allow categories and labels the surrealist adapted the thought of sigmund freud to suit their own purpose the surrealistic uh, predicted that as the uh, art would develop a perspective that would give them strength or feeling themselves from control of a reason new intellect tendency will inevitably come up the document defines the surrealistic as psychic automatism in its pure state by which we propose express verbally in writing or in any manner the real process thought that uh, the that dictation of thought in a uh, absence of uh, any control exercise by reason and outside any aesthetic or moral concern miyazaki's uh, 2005 film house moving castle used aspect of surrealism to depict the condition of the early 20th century english town several children in primary grades are uh, instructed on self portrait portraiture technique based on particularly on the portraits by picasso and in literature ma- magical realism in works by writers as gabriel marcus contain aspect of surrealism like in this movie like there is a, there can be seen in poster that the one visual type of thing is stacked up and can be seen moving somewhere these are the works thing Me like, what is the main idea of surrealism? So the main idea of surrealism, first uh, is art is not only for the uh, for the sake of art; it's also for the sake of life. And the second is, we should let our un- unconscious mind uh, be free or flow. good morning everyone my today's topic is the fear by wilfred wilson capricin this is my information what is the war poetry war poetry is simple put poetry that deal with the subject of war the young soldier poets of the first world war establish war 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 poetry as a literary journal war poetry is not a necessary anti war it was however about the very largest question of life identity innocent guilt loyalty courage 
compassions humanity duty desire and death this is the author uh, introduction wilfred wilson gripson is british poet associated with world war 1 but also as also the author of much later works gripson's poetry was generatic so influenced by his experience during world war 1 Wilson's uh, poetry collection Battle was for, first published in 1950 the work central opened the experience of world war 1 his short lint of an often darkish humor humorous poetry capture a scene of honest and compensions adopting the voice of both soldier and civilians the poem explore theme of guilt madness injury death gibson poem are free of uh, blast pretensions gibson's uh, arrange civilians reading readers to rinse resistance their perspective on the war gibson was a pinion of jordan uh, jordan style what is the Jorian Stins poetry a poetic moment in England during the reign of uh, George V prominent in the Othonic's uh, series of Jonetics poetry the Jonetics poetry aim the revived public interest in poetry their theme are nature love linsting old age childhood animals sleeps blooms and others domestic domestic of uh, wild animal johnson poetry established the victorian and modern sphere the fear this is the original the fear poem in this poem wilfred uh, described the war this is short poem by him this poem only two stanza and eight line but is deep meaning of poem you can easily understand the background of war wilfred used simply language in the poem simple language in the poem he described her emotion experience about war he speak about death in the poem this is my conclusion war poetry regardless of the era from which its original date capture theme that carry across to generations it it also seek to create new language which later generation use as a framework for understanding war poetry war history this is my reference okay so questions are from put your question and sangeeta my question is is this poem the fear is it a anti war or pre war poem this poem the fear is a war poem not a anti war because this poem are a, a reference to death a, a suffering and anti war is a, about uh, peace
Sangeeta, what is the main message of this poem? The poem main message of the uh, information about war and uh, this is the war of the how is harm suffering about the pupil and war this. Okay, so our final uh, feedback. Amina huh, presented on sci-fi. And uh, some of you who are not using any images, uh, you try to use some significant image uh, regarding the text. Some of you are doing it quite well. Combination of uh, image, there is graphic and the text. So even if you're talking about a film, at least a film poster or a cover of a book, that photograph or painting photographs. Okay. Uh, between heroic and supernatural that was the question that was asked so that still requires detailed answer and that how they differ because they share many characteristics common scientific fiction supernatural fantasy heroic uh, narratives uh, Dhruvita uh, also presented well and dealt with a very interesting film and the novel Leila and Matrubhumi uh, So, so that was a dystopic if that becomes like a powerful or a trend then uh, perhaps we turned our society into dystopia that is what it says so so if even if there is something that is problematic happening and if that becomes a, a way of life for everybody then what might happen so your answer was that we are not living in a feminist dystopia. Obviously, we do not live in dystopia as such. It is about future. But is there anything that is in our present time that may lead towards that dystopia? And so that is how you need to answer that. Because your film, Matrubhumi, was talking about the female feticide. So if that is not the reality, then you can say that no, it is still not a reality and this may happen. But people see that as a reality and that is why we have lots of programs in academic institutes where we have this Betty Bachao, Betty Padao kind of a thing. Otherwise, you don't have, you don't see uh, in how many countries there is a campaign like Betty Bachao, Betty Padao. If you see the first world, uh, do they have to run a campaign like this? No. Uh, if it is a campaign, means there is a problem. People are not thinking about Betty Bachao or Betty Padao. That's why we require a campaign. We are not conscious about cleanliness and tidiness. So we have to have a campaign about Swachh Bharat. If it is clean and tidy, no campaign are, are required as such. So that is how you can see. Uh, Divya Parmar uh, also presented well. And there was a question to you about intention of war poems so, or what is that intention. So you can say that normally this literature try to look at the futility of war. Futility of war. Uh, there. If they celebrate, they celebrate a kind of uh, individual uh, valor that is required for a soldier. But collectively when it is seen, 
collectively it is always futility so when you want to motivate people for fight then you celebrate valor that is individual valor is celebrated so first world war poets they were talking about the valor because during first world war there was a different temperament like let us go for a war we have read about war now let us fight the war in second world war it was not there eh? that euphoria for war was not there you were dragged into war willy nilly you were going to fight you were not ready to fight but you were dragged to fight and then because the memories of post first world war was still fresh in the mind so you were not uh, before first world war there was no such real memory it was only imaginative that is literature was talking uh, there and that difference is very important because time and again you will see people becoming euphoric for fighting for battles for wars and at that time we remember that well you are ready because you don't have a memory of what happens after all these things if you have memory you will not do this that is how we can interpret or we can read uh, uh, those dynamics uh, also amisha also presented well on the lyrics uh, some of the lyrics and also good question was there uh, divya asked uh, quite well uh, the question about like telling that you are talking about this in your presentation so how do you connect this so that is the correct way of putting the question you 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 listen to what is said and then you are asking otherwise many of you are asking the simple question that is the topic that is what the person was speaking for last 10 minutes the same thing you are asking give me the difference between absurdism and uh, existentialism that is what the presentation was about so why are you asking that question again so divya has asked some good questions okay? uh, and well explained also by amisha by giving some lines from the poems uh, there in your citation there is uh, uh, one one issue uh, which is uh, very good to discuss also because when you go to like youtube uh, video or a film and you talk about a film then there are a lot many people who have contributed in a film so who should be ultimately credited for that like credited means whose surname should come in alphabetical order whose surname should come in alphabetical order that is very important as a credit academic credit mate e bahu mahatva ni vastu chhe ke konu naam pehla alphabetically surname ma aave મશીન હોય કે સર્ચ એન્જિન હોય કે એમ એલ એસાઇટેશન મશીન હોય કે કોઈ પણ પ્રકારના રોબોટ હોય એમના લિમિટેશન ક્યાં છે એ આપણને ખબર હશે તો જ આપણે એના ઉપર કંટ્રોલ કરી શકીશું નીતરે આપણા ઉપર કંટ્રોલ કરશે એને ખબર પડી જશે કે આ માનવના લિમિટેશન ક્યાં છે તો એ આપણા ઉપર કંટ્રોલ કરશે સો દેટ ઇઝ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ ટુ બી સીન દેટ હાઉ ફાર ઓલ ધીસ રોબોટિક્સ સોફ્ટવેર સર્ચ એન્જિન્સ દે કેન હેલ્પ અને એ ક્યાં ઊણા ઉતરશે એ પણ માનવે સમજવું જ પડે વી હેવ ટુ લર્ન દેટ સો દેટ ઓલ્સો યુ કેન સી બટ વેન ધીસ ઇઝ ધીસ સો મેની પીપલ આર કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુટિંગ એટ દેટ ટાઈમ ધીસ લાસ્ટ નેમ ઇઝ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ now here you can't do pehlo apre ke na tame pehla aap pehle aap pehle evu ama na chale main contributor main writer name first enu naam j pehla aave ej ej aave ane ej aavu je tame tyare collaboratively people present karo to ej nakki karvo nu ke sauthi vadhu contribution konu che enu naam pehla aavse em nahi na na chalo tame lakho pehli var evu na chale academic ma e pehlu kotumbik vat na chale કુટુંબમાં ચાલે કે તમે પેલા ચા પી લો તમને આમને પેલા ગુલાબ જાંબુ આપો પછી હું લવ એવું એમાં ચાલે પણ આમાં એવું ન ચાલે આમાં ધવન હુ હેઝ કોન્ટ્રીબ્યુટેડ ફર્સ્ટ એનું નામ જ પેલા રહેવું જોઈએ તમારું હોય તો આગ્રહ જ રાખવાનું મારું પેલા નહીં તો પેલો બીજી વ્યક્તિ વાદ વિવાદ કરે દલીલ કરે કે મારું કામ પેલા હોવું જોઈએ એ જીતે તેનું પેલા 
वाद विवाद करवोज पड़े एकेडेमिक इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग देन कौटुंबिक काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग दैट वी डू सो दैट फर्स्ट नेम कौन है अफवान सो फिल्म इज अ सो मेनी पीपल कंट्रीब्यूट नाउ इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फिल्म देन डायरेक्टर्स ने नॉर्मली जनरली अबाउट द फिल्म डायरेक्टर्स ने बिकॉज़ डायरेक्टर इज कंसीडर्ड एज द ऑथर ऑफ द फिल्म सो डायरेक्टर दैट इज ऑथर थ्योरी दैट विल वर्क सो एनीथिंग जनरली अबाउट द फिल्म ऑथर इज डायरेक्टर but if you are talking about uh, uh, acting then actors name will come first if you are talking about acting eh, somebody is then if you are talking about background score then who is the music composer background score not the music composer of the songs sometimes they are different like you will see that people are uh, uh, appreciating uh, the sound designing see the word design uh, uh, sound designing of kfg chapter 2 or uh, even this uh, film uh, that was rrr so they appreciate that sound designing now that background score may not be given by the music composer who has given the music for the songs because they have it all together different effect then who is that person that name here what you have to do is lyrics you are talking about and who is the lyricist gulzar gulzar and iqbal both two two lyricists are there so gulzar and alama iqbal they are the their name should come gulzar's name is first so gulzar with g it has to go not with arijit singh who is just a singer so see academically you will start understanding that when you talk about words and lyrics gulzar is more important than arijit singh arijit singh is only singing is only singing but if you are talking about voice vocal uh, the beauty of singing then you can say arijit singh has a beautiful voice but it is only voice only not the words and lyrics are somebody else's that is being there okay? now once we understand this we understand that there are people who write their songs they sing their songs they compose the music and they even dance also so you can understand what michael jackson was doing <laughs> writing composing dance steps also you are devising and you are performing also then such a great talent that one can understand rather than what all other film heroes and heroines are doing somebody has composed the steps they just have to do what others are doing they are mere puppet and we value them a lot apre khali kachputli ne bahu maan aap ne sachu kaam ni value hoti nahi gani vakat pan academic ma apne khyal aave ki i value kone javi joye who is really worth for the value of this work Hinaba also did well with Dadaism. Okay. Divya asked good question huh, here also. Huh, also, independence and freedom. No, I think Amisha asked the question about independence and freedom also. So uh, you can't use both the words every time simultaneously or synonymous. So you have a freedom of speech, or you want to be free from something. So you use art. Now there you can't use the word independence. independence sometimes becomes dependent on self that also is connected with that so their freedom and independence of speech you can never say <laughs> that artists have independence of speech <laughs> you yourself will understand no there is a problem you can't use the word independence so freedom and independence that word uh, is very important to be seen as a difference also inside that was one for independence hmm uh, independence yeah you are asking that so that you need to clarify yeah, that freedom of the thing that you are trying to do or trying to get independent from several uh, things that they are using that art uh, janvi made on uh, the present but you are not able to give answers properly okay? your sources are very good uh, you uh, others also when you prepare for war poem uh, refer to the sources uh, santnu dasis uh, one writer for cited uh, in her work and that is a very good website which uh, which has a good material uh, uh, on uh, war poems and other things so that is worth referring one university website was cited santanu das was the writer so that was a very good source uh, khushboo presented on the difference between both as we referred the question that i think hinaba asked there okay then nehalba again question answer problem so try to uh, imagine what kind of 
where you will write. So extend for how to speak on the topic that you need to understand. I hope in semester three, you will improve uh, and we will not have uh, the same thing to be repeated in semester three. Uh, Nilay also presented well uh, on the, uh, and uh, a few things that you can say uh, here. It was good presentation. Everything was good in citation. Uh, how you have to look uh, like you referred Sigmund Freud a couple of times, but Freud is not cited. So if you are mentioning somebody, it should be there in the work citation. And uh, uh, those who are there, they are not referred. Those who are cited their names, you all can see that how many times you are speaking their names, whom you have cited, and so and so person, so and so were saying the things, and in this way they are putting the point of view. That is the so what you you are referring in the presentation, you are not citing. What you are citing, you are not referring. That combination, once we will get it, we will see that academically it is up to the mark. It is now nobody can question. That you are, what you are speaking, presenting, writing is not having an academic value. Once this relation will be established. Film also you referred, but that was not cited. Poster and other thing, but the citation was not there. The last one was by Sangeeta. Okay. Also need to improve a bit yeah, there. Okay. So, okay, fine. So, uh, we end our, uh, this, uh, this season for you, uh, the evening session we still have. But for you, uh, this uh, season is over now uh, and uh, wish you all the best for your internal exams, uh, which are beginning from uh, Monday. Okay? We end this session here.